daddy's hands folded silently in prayer and reaching out to hold me when I had a nightmare you could read quite a story in the calluses and lines years of work and worry had left their mark behind I remember daddy's hands how they held my mama tight and they patted my back for something done right there are things that I've forgotten that I loved about the man but I'll always remember the love in daddy's hands daddy's hands were soft and kind when I was crying daddy's hands were hard as steel when I'd done wrong well, daddy's hands weren't always gentle but I've come to understand there was always love in Remember daddy's hands working till they bled, sacrificed unselfishly just to keep us all fed. If I could do things over, I'd live my life again, and I'd never take for granted the love in daddy's hands. Daddy's hands. Soft and kind when I was crying Daddy's hands Were hard as steel when I'd done wrong well, Daddy's hands weren't always gentle But I've come to understand There was always love in Daddy's hands Daddy's hands Were soft and kind when I crying daddy's hands were hard as steel when I'd done wrong well daddy's hands weren't always gentle but I've come to understand there was always love in daddy's hands Dear Papa, I want to start by apologizing to you. First, I am sorry that I am not by your side at this moment. It pains me to not be there with you, but please know that I will be soon. Second, I apologize for the somewhat selfish motives that prompted this letter. One of my biggest fears is that I will lose someone I love without having the opportunity to say, see you later, in heaven or on this earth and to tell them how much they've meant to me. Third, I am sorry for selfishly hanging on to you. I love you with all of my heart, and I am frightened and saddened to think about living in this world without you. But at the same time, I know that Jesus is the only one who can take away your pain forever when he brings you home to live with him in heaven. Of course, when I look back on our times together, I can think of plenty of instances when I wish I had more of just that, time. Sometimes I think that my pursuits to make my family proud have cost me the ability to spend quality time with the people who I'm trying to please the most. It is a difficult balance to try to spread your wings, but also wanting so much to cling to your roots. But I just want to thank you for giving me roots that are so worth clinging to. I included a magazine with this letter. 10 Magazine is a quarterly publication the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City publishes and distributes. They highlighted some of my work in the latest issue. I also mailed a copy of my PhD dissertation to mom and dad. What you will find if you read both the article and my dissertation, or anything else that I have done over my young career, is that you will see a common theme, agriculture. As I have studied our family history, 
I have been very proud, but not surprised, to learn that most of my ancestors were farmers. That tradition continued to and through you, and you passed a love for cattle, the land, and farming to my dad, and then to me. So much of what I do and what I have done goes back to experiences I had and lessons I learned on Wilmar Farm. Some of my fondest memories include checking cows with you or taking trips with you and Grandma to Blue River. You taught me how to fish, how to ride a horse, how to smash a turtle, <laughs> how to tell a joke, how to make a frosty, how to be universally loved and respected with grace, how to till a garden, how to shuck corn, how to live with integrity, and most importantly, how to love a family. I may not have enjoyed it or saw the value in it at the time, but hauling hay with you and dad definitely taught me the value of hard work and persistence. These are life lessons and memories that I will always carry with me and cherish. Thank you for always telling me how much you love me and were proud of me. Thank you for having a pride in me that was worth striving for. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and appreciate you. As my papa, you had a significant impact on my life, and that is something that will last forever. I pray for your comfort and peace. I pray that you will know how much joy and comfort you have given me and others through your love. My heart was always refreshed after a visit to Grandma and Papa's house. Your fingerprints will never fade from the lives you have touched. I, for one, have your feet, a version of your nose, and your love of sweets, music, and agriculture. In fact, my dream would be to be a cattle farmer like you if it weren't so expensive to get into the business. In closing, please know that I love you and will see you soon. May you, our family, and I take comfort in Jesus' promises, that He is our Good Shepherd, and that He is with us always even to the end of the age. Amen. I love you, Papa. Your I'm granddaughter. I'm very thankful for everybody that's here. And, uh, thankful that I have got 85 years behind me. And uh, I'm going to stay here as long as I can. But when he calls for me, I'm ready. Amen. <laughs> and, uh, everybody, that's that would be not, not too much to ask of everybody to be ready. When you, when you, if you're going to go out and bail hay, you have to get ready. Hey, but that's, that's the way of living this world is. You got to get ready to leave this world.